Hello, I am Mariah and I have been a solidarity developer for five years. Now for the past few months, I tried to create this bot, but my attempts were unsuccessful and I only wasted money and time. But then I turned to AI for help and my results changed dramatically. So now I wanna show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own bot and achieve the same results as me. I uploaded the Ether mainnet documentation to ChatGPT and asked it to write the code that scans the order list for the transactions we need, automatically adjusts the gas price so our transactions get processed faster, and then automatically sells tokens to the next person in line for a slightly higher price than we bought them for. The AI handled it in a few minutes. The code turned out to be compact but functional. Next, we'll head to a website where we can compile this code directly in our browser so we don't need any extra software. It's super convenient and I've put the link in the description for you. Don't forget to install the browser wallet extension before you start. If it's your first time using the site, it might ask you to agree to some terms. On the left panel, create a new file. Then just copy the code and paste it into that new file. I'll also leave the code in the description so you can easily grab it. You can name the file whatever you want, but it has to end with .sol. Once you've pasted the code, take a look at lines 13 and 14. These are the addresses for the official wrapped Ether tokens we'll be working with. You don't need these tokens in your wallet, just make sure you're using the correct address. Now, back on the website. When your file is ready, we'll compile it. The code was written using version 0.66. To avoid any issues, make sure you're using that same version. Just click here and double check that your settings match mine. Turn on optimization, then hit the button to start the compilation and wait for it to finish. Now let's deploy the contract to your wallet. Go to the deploy tab. We need to choose injected provider for the environment. Then confirm the contract by paying the gas fees. Gas fees are just the cost to upload your smart contract onto the blockchain. Once everything looks good, click the button to deploy it. I usually set the gas price to high just to speed things up, though there usually isn't a huge difference. Now we just wait for the transaction to confirm. Awesome, the contract has been deployed successfully. Now you'll see different options for interacting with the contract. The start button begins the contract's operation and the withdraw button stops it and sends the funds back to your wallet. You'll also see the current balance of the bot. Once the contract is live, copy its address and check it out on Etherscan. As you can see, my wallet is listed as the contract creator. Now it's time to fund the contract with some ETH for trading. Be sure to copy the correct address. You can deposit any amount of Ether, but I recommend putting in one to two or more so the bot can handle more transactions and give you better results. If you don't have that much, you can start with 0.5, it's fine too. Just keep in mind if the amount is too low, the bot might not run, so feel free to text me on Messenger if you're unsure. Great, the transaction confirms the funds have been sent to the contract. You can check on Etherscan again to make sure the deposit went through. Right now, the contract balance is one. The final step is to hit the start button. This will get everything working. Set the gas price to high, save and click confirm. Now we just wait for confirmation. Great, let's check if the bot has started. I'm going to pause the video here and check back in a few hours to see what results we've got. All right, I'm back after three hours. Let's see what we have. As you can see, everything worked and we can even see specific transactions. A pretty good result. Okay, let's refresh the page and see the latest. Nice, the balance is now over 3.4. You can see the result for yourself. The experiment was a success. The contract will keep running until I click the withdraw button. Now let's go back to the website to check the balance again and click the withdraw button. Hit confirm. You'll see the withdrawal process has started and all the funds will be sent back to my wallet. Click confirm and wait for the transaction to finish. The bot's balance is now empty. Let's check my MetaMask wallet. 
as you can see, the funds from the bot are now in my wallet. And all of this happened after just a little over a day of running the bot. Amazing. I would like to warn you that results may vary and are directly dependent on the current gas price and network load. I also have a private community that you can join if you're interested. If you would like to do the same experiment as me, don't be afraid to contact me. My contact is left in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I will be more motivated to please you with new videos.